Um, the last hour of the day, we have elective selectives. Some kids are in an um, algebra class, and then the rest have get to select between keyboards, um, a computer class, newspaper, animal science, a variety of things that they can go to. Mrs. Rickerell's Animal Science, okay. among the unique okay. and most popular okay. classes at Sandia. Our main after-school program, which we call SAGE, Sandia After School Guided Enrichment, and that is funded by the ACES grant. One of the things that, that really makes, I think, Phoenix unique is the fact that we listen to our kids. We, we really put the effort into making sure that if this is something that they would like to explore, we give them the ability to, to support that learning and to go farther with it. We have a, a, a big after-school program through both the ACES and 21st Century that offers an extended day for 250 children. This is an introductory class in uh, air, aviation and aeronautic sciences. They learn basic structures of aircraft, the basic physics of what makes an aircraft fly. Next year we're going to have an advanced class where we take it up a notch. We um, integrate all of our students that are eight graders into the bridge program, which goes all the way, it's a direct link all the way to the community college so that they have the ability to have priority registration and they have the ability to do all of their testing and everything else through uh, that program. We have a rich history here at Desert Knolls, uh, 50 years, very proud of that. Some things in the past, uh, at one time in our history, we won the coveted Title I High Achieving Award. We're very proud of what we were able to have. Every classroom has a projection system. Every teacher has access to an interwrite pad so you can interface real time with web time, uh, take a, a uh, document, interface with it so the kids get to see it. I mean, high engagement, it's wonderful. We have two preschool teachers um, and they are outstanding. They're completely full. So there's 48 students in each of the two programs, so a total of almost 100. Leads us into our kindergarten. We have a fabulous program. Great stuff happening here at Desert Knolls. This is second grade, and right now we're working on a community service project where the kids are making cards for um, sick people at St. Mary's Hospital. Pentathlon is a five-star subject where we compete against other schools and academic um, activities. The strongest points of Marion Elementary include teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. One, one important thing is that we did targeted instruction. When we found students that were struggling in reading and math, we ensured that they went through our Title I Mustang Readers Program. In addition to that, our teachers in class daily um, do pre-tests and post-tests to ensure students are moving forward. And uh, if students have gaps in their learning, we as a staff uh, meet uh, trimester after trimester to ensure that the needs of those students are being met. We look at our scores, we look at our data, uh, and then at that point we decide what the student needs and we try to address those needs and so those gaps soon become less and less of an achievement gap. Well, Yucaloma is the first school built in Apple Valley. It was originally built in 1950. While Yakaloma is the oldest school in the district, it boasts some of the latest technology. We are proud to be able to teach students today for careers of the 21st century. The staff here recognizes that we are preparing students for careers that don't exist yet to solve problems that no one has ever imagined. Most of the jobs in the future will involve some form of technology that hasn't even been conceived yet. Teacher is giving a spelling test. She uh, projects it up on the board using her Moby. She can write on the board remotely. She doesn't have to be at the board. And she asks questions. The students respond, and at the bottom of the screen, you'll see numbers pop up, and those are the students punching in their answers on this. What's nice about this is it's very versatile. You know, it's not just multiple choice questions. Students can actually text with this and they can answer questions in sentence form also. We believe in learning for all, whatever it takes. We take pride in the fact that we have high expectations and maintain rigor for the benefit of all students. The Family Center at Yekaloma was designed 
specifically to support and provide resources and programming for all the families at the Loma School. The first area that we that we focus on is education, um, both for parents as well as for children of the school. The big thing going on, of course, within our economy right now is working on employment for our parents. Another area that we focus on through the Family Center is in the area of health and nutrition. We have a community garden that produces hundreds of pounds of produce each year. All the food that's grown in the garden is given out to families of children at Yakaloma School. We've had a goal since the school opened that we want the parents and the community to see that, we, that to see, feel, and hear the presence of the arts here at Sycamore Rock. I want people to see that we have a beautiful campus and uh, the landscaping is great, the buildings are well set up for learning and for teacher collaboration. As you can see up there, our school is a blue ribbon school. We have high academic achievement here at Sycamore Rocks, and I think it's due to what we do in the classrooms on a regular basis. When you go in all group learning, you're going to see one-on-one. -on -one. You will see students working with manipulatives. You'll see compu computers being used. Uh, you'll see the accelerated reader program happening, and you'll see our writing workshop program, which is consistent throughout the uh, grade levels. So all of these things put together have helped improving our academics over the years. Qualifying factor for the school for the Distinguished School Award in this particular year was for closing the achievement gap. We were able to bring our EL students' performance um, way beyond the, um, what other schools in the county were doing. And, and then we also have a really strong after school program, um, which also has at least a solid hour and a half of um, certificated um, tutoring and instruction for students during that period of time. High Desert Premier Academy is our independent study and alternative programs approach to educating the students of Apple Valley. We offer traditional independent study programs as well as a new hybrid program which incorporates independent study features with online learning and the students uh, are also involved in various project-based learning. Apple University is our hybrid program that focuses on the high school age students. It is a hybrid in that it combines independent study with online learning. The curriculum is delivered uh, via computer-based learning programs. The students must uh, report to the school and do their curriculum for four hours a week, and an additional four hours a week must be completed at home. Well, I, I think it's an incredibly friendly spot. We have a lot of outgoing, enthusiastic students who are happy to be here, eager to learn, and uh, accept a lot of diversity in uh, the other students. We have an excellent sports program. We offer the full range of aquatics from boys and girls water polo to the swim team. We offer club rugby, and then the traditional sports, tennis, volleyball, basketball, football, track and field, a baseball and softball. We have two excellent soccer teams. We have a diverse bakery and culinary arts program. We are developing our wood shop program that will expand to include the CAD computer aided design next year. Our science department is incredibly strong and we have an excellent language department. Congratulations class of 2012. I think you'll find that we are perhaps one of the last fully comprehensive high schools there are. Full complement of academic courses. Uh, we have two academies, California Partnership Academies in Medical and Health Science and in Computer and Media Pathway. Uh, but further, and perhaps more importantly, uh, the career technical field. We're expanding our agriculture and engineering pathway into more of a precision machining pathway as well as the welding and fabrication side. Now we have the capability of taking a idea in a computer and creating a prototype through a rapid prototyping machine called a 3D printer. This is going to expand the skills that the students can take away from this program. And I think you find at Apple High School a group of staff, support staff included. We are absolutely committed to making this the best high school that it can be. Apple Valley Unified School District.
preparing our students for their future, putting learning to work. Our community showcases those who inspire us. And for High Desert baseball fans, the 2012 Mavericks have done that. This Mavs team has won more games than any other in franchise history. Will it rank as the all-time best Mavericks team? To do that, they must win the California League Championship. The Mavericks won the first half Cal League Southern Division title in dramatic manner. Mickey Wiswall's home run, the deciding blow in a must-win showdown for the division title. Winning the first half ensured the Mavericks not only of a playoff berth, but a first round bye and the home field advantage in the Southern Division Championship Series in September. Jack Martyr, a walk-off home run, through the homestand in August that clinched the second half title, the Mavericks had an unbelievable 11 walk-off victories. Steven Procia posts the team's top power numbers. Procia has hit three home runs in one game on two occasions. The Mavericks cruised to the second half title, clinching in the team's final homestand in August. Another cause for Mavericks fans to celebrate, High Desert Mavericks baseball will remain in Atalanto through the 2015 season. The combination of an outstanding winning team on the field and aggressive, successful marketing by the front office has resulted in a 15% increase in attendance at Mavs home games this season. The team's final regular season homestand Labor Day weekend. Then the Mavericks open the Southern Division Championship Series at home Friday, September 7th. Thank you for being with us this week on Our Community. We hope to see you next week when Our Community returns. Our community, showcasing the talent of our high desert communities. Our community, presented by CYAP, serving to educate, inform, and inspire the citizens of our communities. The Community Youth Athletic Program. Through activities from after school programs to all star athletic events, the CYAP provides programs that promote a youth's self esteem, reduces school dropouts, and produce healthier youngsters. To join the community leaders, law enforcers, educators, and elected officials who are dedicated to making our community, as our one nation under God, a safer, happier, more productive, and more prosperous place to live. Contact CYAP, Community Youth Athletic Programs, www.thecyap.com. This is our community, baby. Thank you very much.